with alleged defrauding of innocent persons, popularly referred to as 419, and the discovery of shrines and offices used by the fraud syndicate has revealed that it decided to be part of the criminal activity because he had also once been a victim. The suspect, Alaji Akim Aziz Olayode, stated this on Friday when he spoke with Nigerian Tribune at Oloya Community in the Shokon local government area of Ocean State. Other suspects are the syndicate's fake arbalist, Ayokule Ayolo of 43, the syndicate's spy, Oriyomi Adebayo of 41, Samsidin Abiola 48, who was said to be a photographer who lured rich victims to the syndicate's trap, and Sherifat Badamosi 42, the syndicate's white witch. Two other suspects, Ola and Chief Ashik Beloyi Ojo Oluropo, aka Ajue, are currently on the run. The Commissioner of Police in Oyo State, Muhammad Musa Kasina, who led police officers and men and journalists to the shrines, said that the activities of the syndicate, which specialized in defrauding unsuspecting citizens of huge sums of money, were uncovered intensive and painstaking intelligence. Nigerian Tribune learned that the suspects exploited their victims' quest for herbal and spiritual solutions to their health and emotional problems to extort large sums of money from them, saying that he had declared unrelenting war against the activities of predatory and antisocial elements. Casino told Nigerian Tribune that many victims had visited the shrines and left with bruises. The gang have dispossessed people of various amounts of money, among them an octogenarian in Ibadan from whom the syndicate collected 30 million naira. Another victim from the U.S. who came to the shrine defrauded of 20 million naira after he fell into the trap. Olayode, who hails from Ogbomosho, disclosed, I was a Fuji musician with Santana as stage name. I was defrauded by a 419 syndicate when I wanted to do charms for fame. After a while, they convinced me to join them, assuring me that I would recoup my money. I was usually called by syndicates. Sherry Fatou Badamosi demonstrated how she used to dance as a white witch to convince victims of the supernatural powers of a syndicate member. <laughs> Following the disease, it would charge the customer and I would get my share. I can't recall the number of people who had fallen victim to us, but I remember that one paid 30 million naira to cure a festering sore. It was paid in bits. Another one paid 15 million naira. I have three vehicles on the cross store worth 3.5 million naira, Toyota Venza worth 4.8 million naira, and Mercedes Formatic worth 6 million naira. Another suspect, Ayola Ward, told Nigerian Tribune. I am a fake herbalist. Though I learned the job of an herbalist from my grandfather, my role was to prepare herbs and concussions whenever we got clients that had problems. Olayode usually connected me with clients who had health problems such as diabetes, hypertension, stroke, and so on. I would do the concussions, which I would give Olayode. He would charge the clients and give me my own share. At times, I would get 500,000 naira or six hundred thousand naira commissioner of police said whenever anyone is brought here they do everything to diminish any sense in their victims as a result they would subdue them to the point of parting with anything that is valuable the commissioner described the female suspect as a mere entertainer assuring the people that they had nothing to fear about her Nigerian Tribune was also at the residence of Ajue as Idioya 
Kajola Road along Odron Lewe area of Ibadan. The place, which also served as a runaway suspect's office, had rooms with fetish objects and an escape route at the back of the house.